Hello, Klaus here. Nice to see you back again at the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to transform a photo into a living image. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Let's go to the edit suite. Okay, so here we are back in Resolve yet again. So let's uh, begin. First off, we're going to duplicate our layer. And then we're going to take the bottom layer and push D. So we'll deselect it and you can't see it. Go to the color tab. And in the color tab, we are going to zoom way in. And we're going to take our mask tool. And we're just going to take our curve mask. And what we're going to do is we are going to make a mask at the horizon here. I'm trying to follow the mountains. So it doesn't have to be, you know, like over precise, but it's pretty nice if it's it looks pretty good. It's pretty nice if it's somewhat <laughs> evened out. Of course, you can also do this out of Resolve, going to Photoshop, GIMP or something and taking the picture and then just taking them apart in two pictures. But um, you know what? If you can do it in Resolve, why bother going to another application? So again, I'll just continue along the way here. Um, whoops. Oh, and by the way, if you push down the middle mouse button, you can zoom and drag at the same time. So like I'm doing here, or just drag the image, meanwhile, doing this line. Okay, I'll try to finish up pretty fast. I'm not going to do this too detailed. You can be way more detailed than my it is a pretty long picture. So, whoops. Uh, let's do that one more time. Again, you can be extremely <laughs> Uh, into this and do this way better than I, but I think for this effect, this will do just fine. Okay. I'm almost there. Of course, I could speed this up in post, but now I'm almost at the end, so it doesn't make that much sense doing that. So anyway, I'll just quickly draw the mountains. At least I think it's mountains. Hills, maybe, not mountains, hills, more correct term. Okay. Getting there. So, I can see the end now. That's pretty good. So, almost there. So, um, there we are, almost, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's just zoom out here and just let's um, make the shape around the clouds here. And that just means we have now masked out all of the clouds. Of course, we can't see that yet because we need to um, invert it first we did there and then we also need to right click and we need to add an alpha out and just drag that to the blue one so this is what we have right now going back to the editing page and on the editing page we're going to push d on the lowest clip and now we can't see anything happening because it's just all late so selecting the bottom clip going to the inspector and let's zoom that a little bit bigger okay So now we, we have uh, this effect. So I'm just going to make the clouds move by setting in a keyframe at the beginning. And then I'll go to the end of the clip and I will then just move the frames a bit. Or maybe it should be the other way around, actually. Yeah, it gives more sense to me. Okay, so here we have the clouds moving effect. It's fine, but we can do a little bit more. So if we now do a new compound clip, and we'll just call it whatever, 
So here we have a compound clip. So now we can actually also animate uh, a zoom and just by putting in a keyframe at the beginning at the clip and going to the end and then let's uh, zoom in a bit. Something like that. So here we have this little zoom effect as well. But I think we can do more. Let's go to the color tab. So what I then thought it would be great to um, let's start by adding a mask because I think maybe we could make the water here move a little bit. So first off, I'm going to draw a mask. Just pretty quick uh, around here. So it doesn't have to be super perfect either. Again, you can use a lot of time if you want to, but this is a tutorial and I want to make this tutorial not too long. So I'll just do this pretty darn quickly. Okay, so now we have added here, um, I'll just soften it a bit and I'll put a little up the inside and uh, outside as well. So now we are going to track that because we have a zoom. Pretty good. So let's uh, now go to the, I'll just take the mask off, but let's go to the effects library and we are going to go all the way down here and find our, where is it? Ah, it should be, ah, our waviness effect. And we're just going to drag that on. And what that does, it's going, as the effects say, make waves or waviness. And of course, as you see, this is, way too crazy. So we're going to scale it down a bit. Like really scale it down. It's still too crazy. So maybe and then also the strength of the waviness, we are going to take that way down as well. Something like that. And then also the speed which it's doing it in. So here we have this. Let's uh, just go to the edit tab and you can have a look at it. Here we have this wave and and the cool thing about this effect is that you can add all sorts of effect. If you want to make this, um, want to make a movie about uh, a place which is has changed over the past years and you only have a still photo and you have the new photos, you can do that. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.